I found a VR game that is absolutely going to surprise you because you don't expect it to be as good as it is. I'm pretty sure you'll like it, but by any chance you don't, you're welcome to dislike this video and that will let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you end up liking it though and subscribe while you're at it as it supports us a lot. So at first sight, this game might look boring. Maybe even, dare I say it, wave shootery perhaps. But don't judge it before trying it out. There's actually a free demo available on App Lab but before you go there, let me explain what it is and why it's so surprising. This is VR1 and you can call it a multiplayer game that you can play solo. Sounds intricate, I know, but I'll try to explain. You're basically a plant. <laughs> I know, I know, you're not an ordinary plant though. You're tasked with protecting mother nature from ruthless machines. To do that, you have a couple of superpowers. You can clone yourself and you control time loops. Yeah, now it gets interesting. Fast Travel Games. The publisher of this game flew us out to their studio in Sweden to try out a bunch of VR games and the PSVR 2. Out of all these games, I had the best time with this one, so I wanted to share it. To clone yourself, simply step on a seedling. If you do that, you start a time loop. Now, every move you make is recorded. And when you're done, you can end the time loop by grabbing the mushroom in your left hand. The next loop will now start and you see your first clone precisely replicating whatever you did. Now you can create another clone and another, perhaps a whole army. You get my point. Now before I talk about what really amazed me, let me show you a basic level that really explains what the game is like. Okay. So the goal is to destroy those things over there are like little parasites and they hurt more than nature and I'm a part of it. What you have to do is you have to work together with yourself. Like right now, I'm creating a clone of myself. Let's dodge it too. Oh, here we go. And I already know that my other clones need this gun. So let's drop it down there and the time loop. We also have a timer, so we gotta be quick. Now we go over here and we wait until my little clone is finished because that's he, he's repeating exactly what I'm doing, what I did just now. Ooh. I'm waiting. Now he's gonna throw it. Yes! Well, see. Ha! Here we go. Throw this one down there and time loop. And we have to wait again because every time we reset the time loop, it will go on the same way. So now I create another clone there and I wait until the gun finally drops for the last time. Gonna take a while because I was really slow just now. <laughs> so I have to dodge him. Wow, while, while we're at it. Whoa, yeah, yeah, here we go. Bam. Yeah, we did it. So that was a really easy level to explain the basics of the game. Already creative, right? However, that's not the most surprising thing. But I'll tell you what that is right after something else that's also surprising, Surfshock VPN. A huge thanks for their continued support by sponsoring today's video. In this age where we do everything online, you need a VPN. Whether you're surfing websites or just on TikTok, you're sharing a lot of private data. Surfshock VPN keeps you safe and private by covering up everything you do online, kind of like a mask. This way, an authorized people People cannot see what you're doing or where you're doing it. Maybe you can't access a YouTube video in your country or your government is restricting you from accessing a site. A VPN can help with that. I've been using Surfshark for over two years now because of its competitive pricing and it's been great. Check it out with our link in the description. Enter our promo code for 83% off and three extra months free. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just cancel it. So the surprising thing in VR1 is that you can work together with your past clones across multiple time loops. In the beginning, it might feel a bit easy, but bear with me, it's going to get crazy. It's a puzzle shooter and your main goal on every level is to find a way to destroy all machines. Your weapons are a gun that you can load up with blast fruits. You can also use the blast fruits alone. They're like grenades that you can throw at enemies and it will explode. Later in the game, you also get a shield that reflects enemy attacks and you even get some more nature makeshift weapons that are awesome as well, but I won't spoil that for you. In the beginning, you mainly use your clones to throw guns and ammo here and there to help your future self. 
But soon you will find the catch, the challenge. You're gonna lose if you don't plan ahead cleverly because you don't have unlimited ammo and you cannot override every time loop. You can only override the last clone. And of course, levels will get more and more obstacles over time. There's one level I wanted to show you that really explains the game's scope. It's called trust your clone. On this level, there are dirty machines on each side of the wall. You cannot shoot through this wall. All you have are two seedlings, so two places for your clones. One side only has one gun and the other side only has half of a blast fruit. Thanks a lot, devs. So it might look easy at first, but don't let it fool you. I'm sure you will try something like this. One clone here, then use it to throw the weapon at the other clone, then create a second clone, load the gun, then shoot and throw the weapon back. But then you bump into the challenge. You cannot return to the other spot because only the last used seedling can be overridden. You have to think outside the box here. And I'll be honest, I'm apparently not creative enough. After trying for like half an hour, I asked Cherry and one of the lovely FTG team members and we figured it out together. Now I'm going to show you the solution because it really shows off what the game is like. It won't spoil that much as the game has 50 levels, but if you really don't want any spoilers, skip 30 seconds and go to the outro for my final thoughts and a giveaway. So I guess they have to work together somehow. And actually, I think we do something like this. Okay, wait, put it right over there. Oh, maybe like that. Grab it back, shoot two times, throw it over there. Let's end the time loop. And now, go over here, grab the seat, like that. Hopefully this works. Oh, oh yes, I think this works. Oh, did I get it though? Now, I shoot. Oh, we got it, yes. And that's the solution. It's crazy because you're basically manipulating time loops while they're looping. So it's like jumping through times while not jumping through time. Do I make sense? Because it's really tough to explain. It's just mind bending and it's surprising because you don't expect to be able to do what the game wants you to do. It makes me very impressed with how creative the developers at Flathead Studio are. Combine that with a unique art style and it being a very comfortable game, I highly recommend it to everyone. The game is releasing in May this year on Quest 2 and Steam VR. At the time of making this video, there is no price decided yet for the game, but you can try out the game right now as there's a free demo on SideQuest, AppLab and SteamVR. The developers are also working on a level editor, so I expect it to have good replayability. Why not try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I right? And if you don't like it, tell me why as well. In collaboration with Fast Travel Games, we're also giving away 5 keys to the full game at launch to everyone who comments below. And that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to Orchamps. I would not be here without you all. So VR on. Jai Chen.